Today is a very sad day for all of us who knew and loved Gunter Fischer. He was truly a remarkable man, and I regret that I cannot be with you today at this service. However, our family's thoughts and hearts are with you today as we commemorate the life of a man who meant so much to all of us. I first met Gunter as a teenager. Both he and his wife, Lori, treated me as just a, if I were thought their own daughter. Most of all, they were a great support to my grandparents who lived just down the hall. After the passing of my grandfather and later Lori, Gunter continued to care for my grandmother as if he were her own son. This was such a cons consolation to us all who lived so far away. After my grandmother's passing, we continued to remain close, just like a family who became over the years. In recent years, Gunter and his companion Ellen visited us twice in Kelowna, British Columbia. What a treat it was to spend time with him again. Yes, he was a little bit older and slower, but his spirit and humor was still in the same. How blessed we were to spend that time with him. As you all know, Gunter was the most generous and loving man. He treated Jim's daughters, my stepdaughters, just as if they were his own grandchildren. They have wonderful memories of him, and both Holly and Caitlin want to send their condolences to Gunter's family and friends, as does their father, who paraphrased it well when we first heard of Gunter's passing from his son. He was a, he was a truly good man, kind and generous. We will truly miss him. As for myself, I will no longer be able to telephone my friend Gunter that part of my life has ended, which I will miss dearly. To end, Ellen Peterson and his extended family and friends, we grieve with you today, and God give you the strength today and the days to follow. Remember though, that the fond memories we have of Gunter Fisher will remain with us forever. His spirit will conform us and in, in dark memories. Our family will be thinking of you today as in your honor, Gunter. Your father, your friend, and although we mourn his passing, we also celebrate his life, how it touched and made a difference in our own lives. I will truly miss him. Condolences from Astrid Diego, Bart and Artemi Diego, James, Holly, and Caitlin in British Columbia. Thank you. What you just heard says a lot about a man, a father, a grandfather, a husband, a companion, and a very dear friend to many. Words will come easy to me, but I need to express my feelings and a few recollections about my dad. I, I, love, I love my father dearly. He was a man cherished and respected by many by his family that is here today, by the close friends that are here today, his acquaintances that are here today, by many who cannot be here today, but always keep him in their hearts and spirit. He was unselfish, he unselfishly gave throughout his life, he asked little in return. So many people have been touched and embraced, no, embraced by his presence here on earth. Dad <clears throat> will always remain in my heart, forever in the hearts of so many others. Um, I love you. You will always be with me, with us in mind and spirit. Thank you for being around. Now, I guess I should tell a few things about his story, a little bit about him. Uh, he was, like I said, he was a really great man. You don't know, he was, uh, I have a few little recollections that I remember of him. He, uh, some things that uh, he loved. He was an avid fisherman. He, I actually introduced him to the sport of golf. He, uh, he loved to golf, even though he didn't, couldn't walk that well. He did. He was he just loved to play with me golf and some others. And I can remember that one time that we were sitting, we were standing on the one tee, and we were we were teeing off. There was a tee right next to us, over to the right, and he he managed somehow to hit the ball right directly opposite us, right through the crowd beside us, and missed everybody. That was like the way he golfed. But in his spirit, he was. He was a great man. I also remember he didn't, he didn't believe that he should fix, you know, anything that could be fixed or not, he wanted to repair it. He said that could be repaired, and his favorite repair tool was duct tape. 
Every, everything is duct tape. You, if a chair was sort of, you know, some, some piece of story in order to feathers would come out or something, or something to get a little torn, you would duct tape it. You know, if something else, uh, a, a utensil, an appliance, he would duct tape. He says, you don't need it. You don't need anything else. You don't have to get a new thing. Heck, you can just duct tape that. That was, that was one of the wonderful memories I, I had then. Um, I know that also that I can remember him, uh, and he's also a very strong man. I can remember when we lived uh, about 30 years ago, we were living in a place where there was a lot of steps going up. I can still remember him carrying a, an air conditioner on his back and went up 25 stairs up to the uh, to the our house with an air conditioner on his back. And this shows you how strong he is, and his spirit was, was just as strong now. So like I say, I, I'm very happy to see you all here. I thank you all. I know the other people who are not here, thank you too. I mean, the other people who are not here, thank you. Thank you for our, our pray, have prayers for him. And I guess before I, I end this, I would like to, would you please also keep in mind in prayer, Mrs. Ellen Peterson, who could not be here today, but as she's convalescing in a hospital. She would, have, she would just love to be here, but she cannot. And, and I'd just like to say on her behalf and every, that she loves you, Gunther, so dearly, and is heartbroken that she could not come but she will always keep you in her mind as we will all do. Thank you. Amen. Lord, be with you. Let us pray. O oh God of grace and mercy, we give thanks for your loving kindness to all your servants who, having finished their course in faith, now rest from their labors. Grant that we also may be faithful to death and receive the crown of eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We've come to St. Peter's this afternoon to worship our risen Lord and to thank him for the life that he gave to Gunther. The folks at St. Peter's knew him as loyal to the church and unfailingly concerned for her welfare. His roots in the congregation, like Ellen's, were very deep. And I should mention now that I visited Ellen last evening at East Toronto East General Hospital. She sends you her greetings and thanks you for her, thanks you for the prayers that you've offered for her and that she's looking forward to coming to worship at St. Peter's again. Gunter once told me about his early days working on a farm and then many years at a bank downtown. He was the sort of man you could rely on. I suspect that he usually kept his word his friends and his family, as Anne has told us, will miss him. We will all remember him in different ways, always remembering, I hope, his devotion to the church and the people close to him. As we think about Gunter's passing, we have God's wisdom and his promises to lean on for strength. We do not have a permanent, everlasting home on earth. Our home is with God. He lives with us. He calls us to live with Him. Jesus describes the blessings that God's people receive through our lives with Him this way. All that the Father gives me will come to me. And whoever comes to me, I will never drive away. I shall lose none of all the Father has given me, but raise them up at the last day. My Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life.
victory over death and the grave which he won for us. Keep us in everlasting fellowship with all that wait for him on earth and with all in heaven who are with him, who is the resurrection and the life of Jesus Christ our Lord. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Let us go forth in peace in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.